Let's start learning. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. Today we're going on an adventure with a letter that can be a bit tricky. The letter Y. We've talked before about vowels and consonants. Y is usually a consonant. But just like superheroes, the letter Y has a secret identity. Y can also act like a vowel. What? Remember, our vowels are A, B, I, O, and U. When we make vowel sounds, our mouths are mostly open. But how can we tell when Y is acting like a vowel? Let's take a look and find out. Vowel sounds hold a word together. Each syllable or word part in a word has one vowel sound. Listen to this word. Alligator. There are four vowels. A, I, A again, and O. Each syllable or word part has a vowel sound. Al, le, ge, ter. Alligator has four vowel sounds and four syllables. Now, most of the time the letter Y works as a consonant, like in the word yellow. In fact, a clue that Y is a consonant is that it comes at the beginning of a word. As a consonant, Y makes a sound like e, yellow, yesterday, yoga, yarn. But listen to this word, puppy. See the Y at the end of the word? What sound does it make? It makes the sound of a long E. E. Puppy. If the letter Y is at the end of a word, with two or more syllables or word parts, and there's no other vowel before it, Y makes the sound of a long E, and the Y is a vowel. Here's a few more examples. Happy. Funny. Silly. In all three words, the letter Y is a vowel and makes the long E sound. But guess what? Y can make another vowel sound. Listen to this word. Lie. See the Y at the end of the word? What sound does it make? In the word fly, the Y makes the long I sound. Look at the word fly. There's only one vowel sound. There's only one word part or syllable, and there's no other vowels in front of the Y. When a one-syllable word with no other vowel in it ends in Y, the Y takes a long I sound, and the Y is a vowel. Here are some other examples. Cry, Y, Fry. Great job listening. Let's check out some words and see if the Y is a vowel or a consonant. Here we go. Yogurt. Our clue is that the Y is at the beginning of the word. What do you think? Right, the Y in yogurt is a consonant. Here's another. Sky. What are our clues? The Y is at the end of the word. There's no other vowels before the Y. There's only one word part or syllable, and the Y makes a long I sound. You got it again. In the word sky, Y is a vowel. One more to look at. Tricky. Here are our clues. The Y is at the end of the word. There are two syllables or word parts. There are no other vowels before the Y. The Y makes a long E sound. Yep, you got it. In the word tricky, the Y is a vowel. You really understand the letter Y used as a vowel. Let's review. Let's review what we've learned. There are five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. All the other letters are consonants, but... The letter Y can also be used as a vowel. Usually, when Y begins a word, it's used as a consonant. Yellow. When the Y comes at the end of a word, with two or more syllables, and there's no other vowel before it, the Y sounds like a long E. The Y is a vowel. Happy. 
and last, when the Y is at the end of a word and there's only one syllable and there's no other vowel before it, the Y makes the sound of a long I and the Y is a vowel. Cry. Nice work, everyone. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, and remember, it never hurts to be nice.